Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Geneva. This is Geneva in general. I would like for you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, isn't this so cute? Now it's a little chilly outside, okay? I don't care what nobody say. Fall began September 1st. So I'm getting me some more Halloween decorations. Look at this, y'all. I'm so mad. This is too big or it's too small to cover my freaking pillows. So I'm about to get me some uh, new throw pillows that are actually fit for this. But in the meantime, act like this is pumpkin covered, okay? All about the fall around here. Caitlin Clark is a 22-year-old young woman who is a basketball phen phenomenon, okay? She is a once-in-a-generation talent. And she got everybody in their feelings. Two grown women by the name of Cheryl Swoops, and I believe it's pronounced Nancy Lieberman, okay? They just announced, well, Lieberman announced that she has ended her 30-year friendship with Miss Cheryl Swoops. Yes, she has severed their friendship due to her feeling some type of way about the comments that she's made about Caitlin Clark, Cheryl Swoops, that is, and just her overall disposition and attitude towards Caitlin Clark. And I was like, who are these women? So Nancy's a former basketball player and WNBA coach, okay? And she, they said that she was one of the greatest figures in women's basketball. She is currently 66 years old. Too damn old. Cheryl Swoops, okay? She is also a former, former WNBA player, but she was not a coach, right? And uh, she was the first player signed in the WNBA, and she's a three-time WNBA MVP. Very impressive. Now, she is currently 53 years of age. Again, too damn old to be acting like this. Again, Swoops has been criticized about her not liking Caitlin Clark or, you know, her dislike of Caitlin Clark due to the comments that she had made on her podcast entitled, uh, I believe it's Queens of the Court podcast. Again, she is not affiliated. Well, maybe she is affiliated, but in the sense, right? But she is not employed by the WNBA. Again, like she has her own independent podcast, right? It has nothing to do with the WNBA. So again, Cheryl Swoops has decided to, um, pretty much what had happened was, she made up Kelsey Mitchell and Alyssa Smith and some other ladies of the Indiana Fever, but she never like gave Caitlin Clark her props. And she admitted, she said like, the reason why I don't talk about Caitlin Clark is because it's a lot of racist, okay? And racism going on in her fan base and I don't want to get caught up in that. Well, the joke's on you, Miss Cheryl Swoops, because since you did not, uh, indeed, you, 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 know, you ignored Miss Caitlin Clark in the name of not getting into the Indiana Fever's crazy fan base, not all of them, but let's be honest, the element of racism in uh, the Indiana Fever fans, you have brought on a hailstorm, okay? upon yourself. And Miss Cheryl Swoops has said out of her own mouth, she said she loves Caitlin Clark. She respects and loves her game. What she's doing for WNBA and women's basketball and sports in general is incredible. She just don't like y'all Indiana Fever fans. Now allow me to be Mother Goose and read you a little bit of an article by the New York Post titled WNBA Greats Nancy Leiberman, Cheryl Swoops, Sever Friendship Over Caitlin Clark Feud. I know Caitlin was over somewhere like this. Why? Nancy Leiberman and Cheryl Swoops have called it quits on their friendship. Says the two WNBA legends and basketball Hall of Famers are at odds over Caitlin Clark, specifically Swoops' previous comments about the Fever rookie when she questioned the legitimacy of Clark's all-time scoring record at Iowa and claimed she had a fifth year to break it. Says Lieberman appeared on Sunday's installment of the Stephen A. Smith show and explained that Swoops got upset with her on the phone when she confronted her on the issue. So she called out Swoops like, "Hey, what you what you got to say about my about homegirl?" She said, I called her as a friend and I said, you can say whatever you want, but you do have to get the statistics right. I mean, facts matter, which is true. She said, it's okay to have a difference of opinions, Lieberman said, which is also true. I agree. So she got upset uh, with me on the phone and I was like, Cheryl, I'm not doing anything to hurt you. So our relationship pretty much is not happening at this point. I tried to talk to her at the final four. She didn't want to talk to me. My life is going to be good or great with or without Cheryl. So it's my life. I'd rather have her in it. So she kind of extended a little bit of an olive branch. She's like, look, just come back to me. Whether you come back or not, you know, I'm going to be me, I'm going to be great. But, you know, I missed a friendship. I, I understand it. Swoop said, as a Swoop who's been feuding with Smith over the Clark discourse, responded to Lieberman and said she's better off without their friendship. Damn. So she didn't burn the bridge. She said she don't care about nothing you've got to say. Our friendship is over. <laughs> says, now here you go. I get what you're trying to do with your boy at Stephen A. Smith. He is so messy. Ugh. I do respect his, like, you know, his critical analysis of different games, but, you know, he, he can be very uh, jealous of players. You know, his LeBron James hatred, and I'm sick of him, too. He says, but it ain't working, Swift's world, including a video of Iberman discussing the situation during an appearance on Smith's show. She says, you know good and well what happened, and ditto. My life is good without you, too. And him. You want to go there? Again, Stephen A.B. Smith being messy. Why are you as a man? I know he got to be almost 60 years old. Again, I've done three previous videos about male... And WNBA fans being emotional and acting like catty middle school girls. This video is about the grown women acting like middle school catty girls. I don't like it from men or women. But again, Stephen A. Smith, he got to be 60 years old. You invite a woman on your show to gossip and spread drama about why they cheated and fell out with a, yet another woman over a woman, a young woman, a 23-year-old Caitlin Clark. It's like Stephen A. Smith, I know you ain't going out like that. Come on, dude. 
Come on. This is why I don't know I like you. So Swoops has faced criticism for what many have said is her unwillingness to acknowledge Clark's star power. The WNBA legend previously denied that she had anything against Clark and has complimented her game. So she has, you know, given her compliments. Like, it's nobody, like, you can be the biggest hater of Caitlin Clark. You got to respect the game. That's all I'm about. I'm about respecting the game of basketball because, again, I'll enjoy it. So it says Swoops also said Clark fans have acted evil towards her, which I can <laughs> definitely agree. Again, like, it's not the Indian and a few girls or Caitlin Clark. It's the fans. The fans are, like, racist, sexist. They hate lesbians. They hate gay people. Not all of them, again, but it's like the things I've seen is like literally phenomenal when it comes to some of these Fever fans. She said fans began chirping online when Swoops wasn't on the broadcast of the Fever uh, Wings game on Sunday and Liberman was calling the game in her place. Says then Swoops took to X and shared screen grabs of a text message exchanged with Clark apologizing to her for her previous comments. So she even put it, like, look, I talked to the little girl, okay? Here's my phone messages, okay? I apologize to her. Says in a separate post, Swoops wrote, Stephanie Smith, Again, bring me on your show with or without your backup at Nancy Lieberman. The Swoops came under fire for her previous comments about Clark during an appearance on Gilbert Arena's podcast. Again, he's another messy male. Gilbert Arena, Gilbert Arena's, Arena's, whatever you, however you pronounce it. He almost pushing 50. Again, why are y'all gossiping with women? About some drama that should be amongst women. Again, they should be embarrassed themselves. Again, Cheryl Swoops and Nancy Lieberman because they too old. Y'all could be, y'all could literally be this woman's granddaughter. And here's the thing about Caitlin Clark. She doesn't respond to anything, the vitriol of her fans on behalf of them or, you know, trying to defend them or trying to, you know, escalate, you know, a lot of their offensive language towards other women in the WNBA, right? All she wants to do, like she said to herself, she just, she loves basketball. She respects this game. She, she thinks, she thinks it's amazing. and She just wants to play. She just wants to play basketball. Why can't the freaking, the emotional male fans, the grown women that y'all are some old biddies, y'all up here complaining Screaming about to kill each other. Y'all done ended a 30-year friendship over a 22-year-old girl. I mean, y'all not see how weird that is? Again, like, I'm a young woman, okay? I'm not about to be doing all this about Caitlin Clark. The game is the game. I always said that. Take y'all feelings and emotion, emotions out of it, okay? The racism, the hatred, the back, the lash, the sexism, the sexist, misogynistic, women-hating comments is crazy. Because a 22-year-old girl, not just her, but also Angel Reese. Again, like, I, the comments I see from grown adults, Men with salt and pepper beards, full gray, full white in their 50s and 60s. Again, Caitlin Clark just wants to play basketball. Why is it all this stuff? Like, human beings are crazy. If I was Caitlin Clark, okay, I would beef up my security. I'm like, these heifers are, are, are crazy. Again, everyone is far too emotional over sports, okay? Now, Cheryl Swoops, y'all can call her a hater or whatever, but look, I found some tea on Nancy Lieberman, okay? Because it's not just Cheryl who's wrong. But again, it's like, again, like, what is this obsession with trying to control grown women? If she has a podcast, again, like she's not employed by the WNBA, Queens of the Court, that's her thing. This is a 53-year-old woman. You can't go, you can't talk to a 53-year-old woman and tell her what she can and can't say on her podcast. Let me give y'all a, 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 a little, you know, knowledge. Can I drop a jewel on you? Can I drop some rubies and gems on you? But it's up to you to pick them up. Nobody has to like Caitlin Clark. Nobody has to like Angel Reese. Cheryl Swoops ain't got to like Caitlin Clark. That's not a part of the game. Again, Caitlin Clark don't care either way about none of these people. She's multi-millionaire. She's rich. Okay, so she also something like in, in a way I gotta kind of defend her because again, like it's just like this control everybody wants to have over women. Like you can't control what she does or says. Again, like if she doesn't want to talk about Caitlyn Clark because she's uncomfortable about you know a lot of the racism that's going on in her fan base, that's her fucking right. Now Nancy Lieberman, while she doing this, that, and the third, she'd be crying over Caitlyn Clark. Oh, they gon' kill Caitlyn. Listen, Nancy Lieberman, they said allegedly. Again, I'm saying alleged. Don't try to sue me. I ain't got no money. Okay. She choked a player during a game when she played in the WNBA. And I had to do the tip for tap thing because it's like, again, I'm, I'm passionate about this game. Sometimes it get physical. These are grown women. Just like the grown men playing in the NBA, they're not children. Okay, yes, it's not nice to hit people, to touch people, to call each other bitches. Oh, women calling each other bitches, whatever happened to the sisterhood. Yeah, some women call each other bitches. It is what it is, okay? But Nancy Lieber mentioned, again, she didn't choke uh, a player uh, while she played. Again, like, I, I can't, you know, uh, uh, condemn her for it who knows why but everybody's talking about what about the time when you choked a oh, girl i also want to talk about the time when she allegedly I'm, I'm looking at the article right now if you guys want the link in the description just let me know in the comments below and i'll send it to you so apparently after her WNBA career uh had ended again nancy Lieberman, she went on to become a coach in the WNBA. now while she was 43 years old again this is from an article from like 2003 but this happened in the year 2001 when she she was only a coach for about two three years right she got fired from a head coach position because she was a 43-year-old married woman, okay? Y'all see where I'm going with this? 
she was caught having an affair with a 25 year old player okay it said that she was having it says team members couldn't help but glance toward point guard anna deforge a 25 year old WNBA rookie because anna just put her head down when detroit veteran says after a while she started crying so i believe she was actually a coach of the detroit shock they should bring that back that team you know it was a great team them in houston comments the charlotte sting sacramento monarch so many great WNBA teams that just dissolved and collapsed they should bring them back right anyways um says questions about Liberman's relationship with deforge had been percolating amongst teammates for months as the shock slugged through a dismal a dismal season is now even those who had ignored the talk had to confront the issue says if you had a problem with my personal life you should have come to me and i would have told you about it said Liberman, who during the meeting reminded players that she was married after a failed attempt to find out which players had complained to senior management, Leverman, who was in charge of the Shocks personnel decision, said, I will be here longer than any of you. Half of you won't be here next year, so you better start playing ball. So she pretty much said, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. Y'all all liars, liars, pants on fire. And I'm too valuable to be getting fired. Y'all going to have y'all ain't going to be in the league next year. Like, ooh. Though Detroit President Tom Wilson says Leverman told him she was not having a relationship with DeForge when he confronted her shortly before the locker room meeting in August, and though both she and DeForge reiterated the denial to SI, more than, half, more than a half dozen WNBA sources say they felt the team had to question whether the coach and player were crossing the line. Players say Liberman 43 and DeForge spent hour, hours after hours together on the road. One witnessed them exchanging hotel room keys while another spotted Liberman's car outside DeForge's apartment late one night. Incidents DeForge says never happened. In Sacramento, we went out by the hotel pool for a workout and Nancy and Anna were there swimming and lying by the pool says former Detroit player Joy Holmes Harris. Everyone was like, come on, give it a rest. So again, everybody's hands is, you know, dirty. Everybody, ain't nobody clean, right? Again, Nancy Liberman and um, freaking Cheryl Swoops is too old. Too old to be fighting and acting, you know, caddy over a 22-year-old woman who could be your granddaughter. Just let it go. You know, just let it go. I'm, I'm tired of all the discourse around Caitlin Clark. This is what makes me mad, right? It's not even, again, it is about the racism, the sexism, sexism the anti-LGBT hate that a, a lot of the fever fans seems to like, you know, spew onto other women in the WNBA. But also it's like, no, it's, there's, there's no respect for basketball. If y'all really truly was, was, was passionate, passionate about the sport, y'all had love and respect for this game, y'all wouldn't be saying half the stuff y'all would be saying. I remember when this, the beginning of the season started, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever, they were they was struggling, okay? They was losing, losing, losing. It was so many fans, it was grown men saying that, yeah, y'all should like, you know, just let Caitlin Clark score on y'all so y'all can grow the sport. Just let her win. Let Caitlin Clark win. That's so insulting to not just Caitlin Clark herself. That's an insult for her and her game and how her skills and technique. It's an insult for all the women in the WNBA. And it's a slap in the face and an insult and a disrespect for the game of basketball. Like, people. Again, I just wish everybody would let these girls hoop. Let Caitlin Clark hoop. Let injuries hoop. Let all the women in the WNBA hoop. Let's stop the racism, the sexism, the misogyny. The anti-LGBT hate, it's not, it's not okay, okay? Y'all can believe what y'all want to believe. Y'all can feel how y'all want to feel y'all was raised this way. Okay, that's fine. Going online, you know, crashing out, harassing these women is not okay. That goes for Nancy Liberman and Cheryl Swoops. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say it at all. Everybody just needs to calm down. Stop being so emotional, okay? Just grow up.